get it. Let's walk. Come take a walk with you, boy. You know what I'm saying? I just want to talk to y'all about the power of things. And God put things in your life, like your kids and stuff like that. And he put my kids in my life. That was like the biggest blessing that he did for me. Because I wasn't whole. You know what I'm saying? I had a, I come from a broken home. And I got to see what a good home is like because I live with my grandparents. You know what I'm saying? But the broken home, I didn't want that. I didn't want to get married. You feel me? And how that all came about is my mom and pop fighting and stuff. I ain't, I ain't want to be in all that. I said, I ain't want to get married, but God put the right one in my life, man. We was married for like 20 years. We was together for 23. You know what I'm saying? I was my baby. She died at counseling. I love you, Red. Baby, and uh, <clears throat> as I keep on talking, I had to you know, give a silence for that right there because that, that was my heart. And the thing right that, and I lost my brother. I had to look at it like this. God had to sit me down and I was thinking on things. I said, them was my crutches, you know, them were the ones I could fall back on, you feel me? It was always gonna be there, no matter what I was going through. So, God took both of them, my crutches. And when my brother died, I still had my wife, so that was, she was there and holding it down too. So, I didn't have to be as much up on my grind as I am now. Because now that she gone, Y'all, that hit hard. I mean, God will humble you. You have to understand when you walk with him, that's why he tell you that you can't come to him unless you love him. You can't love your wife, your mother, your father, your kids. Nothing can come before him because you really think about it though. He gave you all of it. All of it. Everything you have, he gave it. Even the breath you're breathing right now, he gave it to you. So when we sit down and think about all that right there, what are we doing listening to the flesh though? I mean, getting beer and getting hard liquor and drinking it all the time. We're supposed to be taking care of these temples. Them de that devil is selling a lot right now, you feel me? Now, these other stuff, you know, I don't know how they can have alcohol either. You know what I mean? And have certain other things that ain't, that really help your body. But I ain't going to get into all of that because God created everything. And he created everything for a purpose. And what we mess up is when we are overindulge in saying, you know what I'm saying? When we overindulge in seeing and start doing it, and it become a habit, and it start making you look like raggedy. Then when you start looking raggedy, you start Pinocchio pimping. Pinocchio pimping, in other words, it start getting on people's grass, and you make that your lifestyle. And that's who you become. I, I can't rock with people like that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all need to stay away from people like that. And always forgive everybody, you feel me? You gotta keep your heart posture right. If it ain't right, you ain't getting nowhere. And keep all negative stuff away from you. Negative stuff is the devil. And anything that confuse you, the Bible say that the devil is the author of confusion. God is not the author of confusion. The devil is. So anything that's confusing you, that's the devil. You need to step away from it, pray about it, and let God reveal the rest of it to you. It's about being patient. When you with God, you got to be real patient. You got to know to sit with yourself. You can sit with yourself for six hours. Yeah, you patient. You good, you gonna be okay on this wall. Because yeah, all you got is you and God. Think about it. Since you been little, he been right there with you. So he know everything about you. Even though you better than you know yourself. So he put you in them tests and them trials that you going through in your life right now to polish you up. But you know what, you keep fighting them. Hey, you ain't gonna get nowhere, you feel me? And it's been real talking to y'all strolling out here. I just want y'all to keep God first, put him high. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna keep getting it. Just let God know that, hey, I need you. I can't make it away without you. And sometimes you just gotta be sick and tired of being sick and tired before you turn to him. <laughs> That's what happened to me. Y'all be blessed in the name of Jesus. Hoo -hoo. Hallelujah, you feel me?